In this video, I'm going to break down my view for EURUSD. I have a sale running on my Trading Academy. You can save 30% on my full course and community, and that is going to be a great place for you to progress your trading. Now, within that, it's more than just a course. You're going to get my full technical trading systems, and you also get the community so you can trade alongside myself and others, the members area where there's bonus videos, and the team meetups as well, which we carry out every month, as well as very close personal support. So if you do want to progress your trading and learn everything about my systems and how I manage my risk and my mindset while I apply them, as well as put it into action with me and my support, then head over to the link in the description and you can join my trading academy there. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a good weekend and I hope last week was profitable for you. Now, before we get into the video, I just wanted to have a little talk about last week and the current market scenario. And that is that last week I only took one major trade. It was successful and I did make a nice little profit. It wasn't the biggest trade in the world. It was around 5.7 R, but I didn't manage to take my whole position's profit before the market reversed. Now, I have been taking a bit of a backseat on the markets recently. The reason for this is simply because of the fundamentals that we currently have going on. There's a lot of geopolitical tensions, uh, big news, big drama from a lot of major countries. And obviously, the pandemic that we just came out of as well has obliterated global markets. So we have a problem here where the economies are very, very weak, very, very uncertain. And then we have the potential war or the actual current war that's going on right now, causing even further damage and even further uncertainty. So if you want to take a backseat from trading for a bit, not entirely stop, but just cut down risk, cut down frequency, spend more time studying and testing, that is never a bad thing to do. And I wanted to mention that because I think a lot of people could be avoiding losses right now by slowing down and actually trading in tune with what's going on in the world rather than staying in your bubble and just trading the standard way that you would. So now that I've said that, let's jump into the analysis. I'm going to start on the weekly and quickly break that down to the low timeframes on EURUSD, show you what it is that I'm looking to see. So if you are a regular viewer of the channel, last week you will have seen I counted buys from this low to take up to fill this imbalance towards that point. Now, as we can see by looking at the weekly timeframe, that did happen. Now, my initial entry was missed and I didn't actually manage to buy EURUSD. Now, the reason for this, the reason I went for this setup, if we quickly mark it on, was a weekly demand area here. Price came into the weekly demand. Now we're looking at this indecision candle here now. Traded into that, retested, and then made a nice bullish run up. However, maybe I wasn't on top of my game. Maybe it was something to do with the inefficient markets as well, but I missed my buys, okay? I was looking for this zone. We formed these equal lows. We did not get the buy. When the market made a new high, I actually saw buys from here very late on an evening. This was uh, about 11 p.m. for me. Uh, and I missed that because obviously it was out of system to take a buy there. Now, there was actually a 15 minute demand zone confirmation when we pushed up to this point. I thought, shall I take this trade? But by that point, we were looking at about 1 a.m. So I never want to get in a trade there. It's against my system. So I didn't take the trade. And uh, that's unfortunate because after that, we straight rallied to the 1.1 target I gave you and beyond. But there was a lot of opportunity for profit there. So even though I didn't manage to get my buys in, I hope a few of you did. Now, what we can look at this week is for continuations on these buys. And the reason I say that is because if we go back over to the daily time frame, you'll see we reacted from this zone quite nicely. We formed this high, essentially a lower high in the daily trend, but we are actually showing quite a bit of strength now and we could go and fill some further imbalance. So the four hour actually gives a quite a clear picture of this. And if we look at the four hour here, this is what I'm seeing. Okay. So now we do have quite a tricky high to work with because in the grand scheme of things, this is a lower high. But I can also see to this point, we have quite a large imbalance. We also have imbalances that go higher up. But this is the key one that stands out to me, right? We pushed up towards this efficient area. Then we left open this gap. But now after the push up, we've pulled back down. We're traded into a demand zone. We've actually supported that demand zone and respected that demand zone so far. And potentially we may get a continued run to the upside. So it's not guaranteed yet. It's not really confirmed yet. But it's definitely an idea that we could potentially take Euro USD up towards that point before potentially a major sell off occurs. All right. So I am actually looking for Euro GBP to move as a kind of buy to sell as well, which means if that does happen and Euro does build strength, Euro USD is probably going to roll with it. And I actually do think GBP USD could potentially go short quite soon as well, which obviously would help to flip, you know, Euro GBP to the upside. But staying focused on Euro USD for now, um, this is what we are seeing. Basically, if we consider the current trend, we've got lower low, lower high, lower low, 
Now we are trading into the supply area, so we could potentially form a lower high. If we break above that, we could actually be looking for these continuation buys. So that would look something a little like this. And what that would really do would be show us that we have the strength to push over the structure, pull back in, and then look for buys from this current demand zone here. So what is it I'm looking for on EURUSD for early week, intraweek trades? Well, we can see here we form these two generally equal lows in the market. We did do that within this large demand zone. We could refine that down and see this demand zone was retested. So that could potentially be quite a valid push away. However, now that we're approaching these lower highs, and if we consider some of the imbalance space below, we can see there's an imbalance demand zone here. And there's also an imbalance demand zone down here, that initial one that I was looking to buy from last week. So my target idea for this week, really, or my overall thesis for this week, is to see if some of these imbalances and these inefficiencies can be filled in the market. As we know, if inefficiencies are generally filled, so I will be keeping an eye on the potential of seeing some of these come through, whether that means as a huge short to just sell straight off from this lower high, or as a pull down to then potentially reverse and bounce from one of these zones, that will be kind of what I look for now. I'm only going to be doing this if we confirm a shift to the downside, because as you can see, straight into the week, we are quite bullish. But I'm thinking potentially, we are on Monday right now, we are trading in the London session as of the time of recording this, potentially a New York reversal could come in, which is quite a common characteristic, and possibly give us a very nice movement on New York. So let's actually see what happens between around 12.30 to 2.30 GMT. If the market can flip around that period, I will actually then go and look for a short. Now, why would I do that? Well, obviously the New York timing, the New York reversal timing would be beneficial. And then if we also add into that, the fact that we are actually trading in quite a large supply area, most clearly on the 30 minute was where I marked the zone out. Uh, that was actually the indecision candle. Now we can see this zone here, efficient, right? We retested it there. Then this zone was actually left open and inefficient. Market's trading within that now. That does not mean that it's going to flip from here. So do not just sell straight into this. There is possibility we could push higher into this boundary, higher up here into a 15 minute refined supply, or possibly if the market really wants to push even further. But at that point, I'll start reassessing the ideas. For today, for the early week trade for EURUSD, what I would like to do is keep my eyes on the 15 minute time frame, see how we react in and around this area. So this will be my total invalidation point. And if we can show some form of rollover, either potentially in this supply that we're currently in, or this imbalance supply just above here on the 15 minute time frame, then I will look for a short opportunity to bring price down through these equal lows, through the Asia low, and towards that first demand zone target we were looking at. So if we clear that one off just for the sake of neatness, uh, we're looking at around 1.08900 or 1.08750. Now my confirmation as usual will be structure confirmation. So if we can see price stall around this point a little bit, I will then be looking for that breakdown to really change some of the structure. And the structure I'd really like to see taken out would be this point here, okay? If we could push down, break through that point, I would then be quite happy to look for pullbacks to sell from there, bring that down through the Asia low and into that target. Same thing goes up here. If we do push higher, we can simply look for the same confirmation again, and we can look to execute when we hit that point. So those are my ideas for EURUSD. That's the kind of plan that I'm gonna be working with for the next few days uh, and see how we can actually drive the market possibly for buys to sells, sells to buys. We will see what we get overall. But that is my thesis. That's my breakdown. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you get some profitable trades from it. So let's see what the market provides us this week.